Well, one of the, we have a scale model of Noah's Ark. And one of the reasons we put this in here is because uh, a lot of times in Sunday school books and everything, they've got this as Noah's Ark. And it's just, it makes it into a myth. And in reality, you know, there was a lot of room on that ark. So these animals here on the outside are for sure scaled to what the ark would have been like as far as size. Then the other thing we've got here is this would, this dinosaur is scaled to the ark also. So you wouldn't have, God wouldn't have sent the biggest dinosaur he could have found. Probably just younger ones. And a six foot man, let me get a one of these people over here. This would be a six foot man here. This is actually a lady, I think, but anyway, you know, that was, they were big. So he would have sent probably real young ones and then they would grow. But we also have this to where we encourage the kids to play with it. You know, and they're inside the ark and out and putting animals up and down and everything. And hopefully seeing that much room and everything lets them know that there, there was plenty of room. I think some of the last I read at least 6,000 pairs of animals would have probably taken care of the different kinds that would needed to have been on the ark. And there would have been plenty of room for uh, food for the animals and for the people and water too, because I guess at least Carl Ball said they couldn't have used the water outside because it would have just been too contaminated and might have been even radioactive. So, anyway, that's what we've got this here for. And it's another one of the displays that the kids can have fun with, hopefully.